Hello and welcome back to Paul Outdoors. Hope that you're well. It's a beautiful day. Blue skies, very windy, cold, soft underfoot. And I uh, need a little uh, excuse to come out and uh, walk and talk. <laughs> so, responding to another tag. I've been tagged by uh, Mike Black Country Woodsman. Thank you, Mike, for the tag. And the tag is what are your five favorite bushcraft items? So, heck, how'd you narrow that down? Well, thank you, Mike, for that. This is my video response. Thought I'd do it on the hoof uh, as I'm out and about. So, yeah, I could, I could just uh, reel off five of my favorite stoves. <laughs> I've got so many. But no, there's not, even, there's not actually going to be a stove in this response. I've resisted the temptation. Um, so, as people who sub to my channel know, I do wild camp and of late started doing a lot more backpacking and hiking. So the five items I'm going to list, name and highlight now are going to be items that I use predominantly for while camping or where I don't need to carry items any distance so thank you Mike your items were uh, very similar actually to to those that I'm going to uh, highlight now so item number one which uh, you'll see appear to the side of me or above me or below me not sure yet where uh, will be a video or a picture of my ferrocerium rod something that I've, uh, I've had with me now for quite some time and always always carry in fact I can show it you now there it is so if you want a spark to uh, get a flame and get a fire going there it is, my ferrocerium rod. So that's not going to uh, appear. It's a separate clip. I've just shown you that one. So that's uh, these are in no particular order, by the way. So that's number one. Item number two is my Baco Laplander folding saw well known in bushcraft and uh, well camping circles it's a real trustworthy workhorse hard as nails uh, really versatile I've had mine now for about 20 years it cost me about uh, 15 pounds when I purchased it I've never changed the blade although I have sharpened it Item number three is my British Army Gore-Tex bivy bag. And again, you can see a, uh, a picture of that or a little video clip of that uh, inset into this uh, into this video. And it weighs about 700, 800 grams. British Army issue. I've had one now, this particular one, for about 10 years, and. It's so versatile. I use it in my uh, hammock. When I'm using my sleeping bag, I've used it as a quilt over the top in the summer when I've not used a sleeping bag. And I use it on the ground with my sleeping bag and sleep mat inside it. It's not the lightest, the hunker. The hunker bivy bag is a lot lighter. Um, but I like my British Army issue bag. Item number four is my DD 3x3 tarp, which I use to cover my hammock, cover my bivy bag and sleeping bag if I'm sleeping on the ground. And as you can see, I use it in different configurations. Uh, have configured it into a tent shape 
on many occasions in various tent shapes. So it's very, very versatile, weighing under a kilogram, one kilo, with um, all my pegs and bits and pieces with it. So that's item number four. And the fifth and final item, my Staffordshire pattern bill hook, which uh, certainly wouldn't go with me on a hike or a backpacking trip because it's too heavy. But when wild camping, bushcrafting, for splitting wood, uh, trimming, snedding, coppicing, all those kinds of things, it is second to none. In fact, I much prefer it over an axe. I uh, have jettisoned many axes in favour of my uh, bill hook and I've gone back to it time and time again. So, uh, yeah, not the lightest, but as tough as nails and uh, indestructible, really. We're going to go and have a, a little mooch in the orchard. This orchard will be ablaze with uh, apple blossom very soon, in another couple of months. Beautiful sight that will be. You'll smell it before you can see it. <laughs> okay, I've set the Trangier up. As you can see, it's a light inside my Lixada folding stove. And I've raised the, uh, the Trangier up a little bit on its lid. Sorry, that's the sun that's uh, affecting the screen. And the idea is that my palm sheet pot will sit inside, inside the Lixada, like that, and the base of the uh, pot is only an inch or so away from uh, the top of the flame. So I've sat the, uh, the Tom Shoe mug down, as you can see, it sits down inside the Lixada stove and it's held in place by the handle there. So it sits about an inch above, uh, above the flame, which is ideal. I do have a windshield as well, aluminium windshield, which uh, has featured in other videos, but I'm going to just refrain from using that because I want to see how good this uh, Lixada folding stove does in protecting the, uh, the Trangia. And in a matter of probably four minutes, I have a rolling boil. day. Wind has died right or dropped right down now. Sun is starting to uh, go down. Well, it's not starting to go down. It's been going down for some considerable time, but uh, you can start to see the shadow play now as it gets lower and lower in the sky. I'm going to spend some time in this area over the coming months um, because I'm pretty sure the deer are using these orchards to uh, transit from woodland to woodland. And there's plenty of uh, deer tracks around. Um, so I'm going to uh, challenge to myself to see if I can get some deer on, uh, on film close up. And other wildlife, of course. So. Uh, That is, uh, that is a challenge to myself. I'm 
positive as if I spend some time in this area around uh, dawn and dusk then uh, it's almost a certainty that I will, uh, I will see plenty of deer. Tom Shoe Club is definitely becoming a favourite. I'm really getting some use out of that and it is ultra lightweight. So had the five tag questions been about backpacking and hiking items, then this would have uh, probably have been number one. <laughs> tail tits now to my right, starting to flit along the hedgerow towards me. Beautiful birds, busy birds, continually foraging for items of food. Yeah, they're in, they're in the oak tree behind me and uh, parts of the hedge. to be alive. Well that's my entrance and exit to this orchard. Just look at those shafts of sunlight coming through. Now if that isn't divine I don't know what is. Beautiful. So those are my five favourite items uh, Mike. Obviously if this was a hiking and backpacking item uh, tag those items would be uh, be vastly different but uh, but it isn't so I'm going to pass the tag on now to three wonderful people with three wonderful YouTube channels and it's not compulsory that you answer the tag folks if you feel that you want to great if you don't then uh, no harm done and the first channel is Ollie Ollie Outdoors hello Ollie hope you're well mate Ollie is based in Somerset and he chronicles his uh, hiking and backpacking journeys on his uh, channel which is really good so Al Ollie you're tagged and I urge people to go and visit Ollie and uh, give him a subscription because uh, he's got a really good channel Steve so Steve your tag Steve your five favorite bushcraft items Steve is in Sweden I believe and Steve's channel is uh, mainly about survival techniques and Steve is a very very humorous and funny guy as well and uh, very 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 good use of your time if you go along and have a look at Steve's uh, videos and his channel and um, give him some likes and a subscription that would be great hope you're well Steve the third channel is Andy of uh, Rain Man R-A-M for mother E-M-A-N Rain, Rain Man. Andy is a proud, proud Cornishman, and his channel showcases the nature and history of Cornwall beautifully. And is also a keen kayaker, and uh, there's quite a lot of kayaking videos on on Andy's channel, and they are beautiful, beautiful videos, well-made videos. And Andy is also a uh, a free thinker which is something that I like very open-minded guy uh, and a free a free thinker which uh, I think is really really good that really appeals to me so please go and uh, have a look at Andy's channel and uh, and subscribe if you if you would so Andy hope you're well mate you're uh, you're tagged as well and like I say it's not compulsory to respond I know it's not everybody's uh, kind of thing to do so but if it would be easier if you did your five favourite hiking and backpacking uh, items, then if that makes it easier, then great. By all means, do that instead. But don't feel under pressure to do anything in way of a response if you, uh, if you don't really want to. 
So, thank you Mike again for tagging me. Sorry it's taken so long, mate, to uh, re respond. Uh, I don't think I've got any more tags to reply to. Better check, hadn't I? <laughs> so, uh, that's me done for today. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments, questions below. And please give us give us a like if you, uh, if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much.